Jack Henry Abbott was an American criminal and author. After gaining praise for his writing, he was released from prison and was lauded by several high-profile literary critics. Still, almost immediately, he committed a murder and was locked up for the rest of his life. He was born on a U.S. Army base in Michigan to an American soldier and a Chinese woman. As a child, Abbott was in trouble with teachers and later the law, and by the age of 16, he was sent to a reform school. In 1965, age 21, Jack Abbott served a sentence for forgery in a Utah prison when he stabbed a fellow inmate to death. He was given a sentence of 3 to 20 years for this offense, and in 1971 his sentence was increased by a further 19 years after he escaped and committed a bank robbery in Colorado. Behind bars, he was troublesome and refused to obey the guards' orders, and spent a lot of time in solitary confinement. In 1977, he read that author Norman Mailer was writing about convicted killer Gary Gilmore. Abbott wrote to Mailer and offered to write about his time behind bars and his conditions. Mailer agreed and helped to publish In the Belly of the Beast, Abbott's book on life in the prison system consisting of his letters to Mailer. Mailer supported Abbott's attempts to gain parole, which were successful in June 1980 when Abbott was released. He went to New York City and was the toast of the literary scene for a short while. Norman Mailer was subjected to some criticism for his role in getting Jack Abbott released and was accused of being so blinded by Abbott's evident talent for writing that he did not take into account Abbott's propensity for violence. In a 1992 interview in the Buffalo News, Mailer said that his involvement with Abbott was another episode in my life in which I can find nothing to cheer about or nothing to take pride in. On the morning of July 18, just six weeks after getting out of prison, Jack Abbott went to a small cafe called the Binibon in Manhattan. He clashed with 22-year-old Richard Adan, son-in-law of the restaurant's owner, over Adan's telling him the restroom was for staff only. The short-tempered Abbott stabbed Adan in the chest, killing him. The very next day, unaware of Abbott's crime, the New York Times ran a positive review of the belly of the beast. After some time on the run, Abbott was arrested and charged with murdering Richard Adan. At his trial in January 1982, he was convicted of manslaughter and given 15 years to life. Apart from the advance fee of $12,500, Abbott did not receive any profits from the belly of the beast, as Richard Adan's widow successfully sued him for $7.5 million in damages, which meant she received all the money from the book's sales. There was a tragic irony to the murder, not lost on the community of aspiring writers and actors in New York. While Abbott was an accomplished writer, Adan was both an actor and a playwright, whose talent was beginning to be recognized. Shortly before his murder, his first play had been accepted for production by the La Mama Theater Company. Final Years In 1987 Abbott published another book titled My Return, which was not a success. It contained a great deal of self-pity but no remorse for his crimes. In fact, Abbott blamed his crimes on the prison system and the government and said he wanted an apology from society for how he had been treated. He appeared before the parole board in 2001, but his application was turned down because he failed to express remorse in his lengthy criminal record and disciplinary problems in prison. On February 10, 2002, Jack Abbott hanged himself in his prison cell using a makeshift noose constructed from his bed sheets and shoelaces. He left a suicide note, whose contents have not been made public.